I grew up in an era where you and The Rock busted in, yeah. like your ankle lock was something else. No Way Out, with you and The Rock, that was one of the best matches I ever saw in my life. I really thought that you was going to do it. I'm not going to lie, my rock guys, but you was a legend, bro. And it's an honor to meet you, brother, yeah? Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Right, you too, man. We got your damn self. Man, like Kurt Angle, bro. You understand? You suck. That's what I wanted, I wanted to say it so badly, blood, but I got a bit star shot there, you understand, man? Like Kurt Angle, you know, we're off to a good start, blood. What's going on, people? Truth TV, back again. Back up Blood Clark again, you understand? WrestleMania weekend, you know we're in the building. Right now, we're at the press junket. We're gonna talk to some wrestlers, you understand? Couple gal them, couple man them. Let's see what's going on, blood. Come roll with the big man. I'm trying not He's to get in anyone's way. I know about MVP, that's my guy, blood, you understand? He done my guy Bobby dirty, though, you get me? So, man's gotta address that, you understand? We gotta address that first before we get into Omos and Brock Lesnar, you know what I'm saying? WWE junket, we're here, blood. They didn't want us here, but we're here, blood. They tried to stop this thing, but they can't stop this thing, because guess who believed? God did! What's going on, people? It's your boy Truth back again. Barstool, you done know already, WrestleMania. MVP, good to see you, my brother. Appreciate you taking the time out. First things first, why didn't you come with the chain today, bro? Uh, yeah, I didn't feel the need to break it out today. You know, it's just, I, I, there's no one here deserving of, of the brilliance of my stone. So it's a media junkie. You know I mean? Them ones, yeah? So you come on a calm tip today? More or less. So how are you feeling going into WrestleMania? I mean, Omos, he's been kind of having his way with Brock, to say the least. And you haven't really seen no one do that to him. I mean, you was obviously part of the Hurt Business. Big Bobby, he, he, he couldn't even really get that out of Brock. Do you think Omos is the one to beat Brock at WrestleMania this year? I'm very, very confident that the Nigerian giant will beat Brock Lesnar. Uh, it's been fun watching his, his growth and his development. And as you said, you've never seen anyone handle Brock Lesnar. You've never seen Brock Lesnar retreat. You've never seen him step back from somebody. He's done that twice with Omos. So uh, the only way Brock Lesnar beats the Nigerian giant as if he makes a mental mistake. And it's my job to make sure that he doesn't do that. Paul Heyman is seen as the wise man, but I believe you to be the wise man because I believe when, I'm gonna bring it back now, I believe when you and Bobby was um, in control of the WWE in lockdown, I believe that you two held it together. I believe that you, even as a wrestler, the way you handle yourself, what you've been through, I think it's elite. I think you're one of the best to do it. And I just want to see more of you on Raw. Uh, well, you'll be seeing a lot less of me in wrestling boots because I'm winding up my career. I still have a few matches left in me, but uh, I think I'm better served now as an advisor to younger talent who still want to wrestle. Uh, Paul Heyman is the wise man, no question about it. I'm a Paul Heyman guy. I'm here because Paul Heyman brought me back. So, uh, I, you know, I, I sit up under Paul Heyman's learning tree and, you know, my approach to the business at this stage of my career is heavily influenced by Paul Heyman and Bobby the Brain Heenan. So that's where I'm at now. And, you know, I, I want to point this out and I want everybody to pay very close attention. It's an absolute travesty that a talent like Bobby Lashley doesn't have an advertised match at WrestleMania. Travesty. But... If you notice, Omos does have a match at WrestleMania. When Bobby Lashley was with MVP, Bobby Lashley was the almighty. Now Omos is with MVP. Bobby Lashley's nowhere to be seen. Was it Bobby or was it MVP? I would strongly urge Bobby to reconsider his position on uh, doing business with me again. That was my next question. Is there any chance of us seeing the reunion of the Hurt Business? Because for me, that was one of the greatest factions that we've seen in recent years. I would agree with you, and uh, I'm open to it, as you can, I don't know if you've seen, but Cedric and Shelton and I have, have started doing business again. Yep. Uh, Bobby's the odd man out. So if, if there's a Hurt Business reunion, it'll be because Bobby decides to join up with us again. And if not, it's because Bobby doesn't want to play ball. You heard it here first. Bobby, it's open, bro. Come back home. 
We just checked in with MVP, the king of the 305, you get me? Me as a man that grew up in an era where MVP made his debut in wrestling, it was kind of lit to meet the man still, you get me? Very humble man. And you heard the exclusive on Troops TV, big blood clot, Bobby. If you want Hurt Business to run back again, it's on you, bro, you get me? Shelton's back, Cedric's back. Let's run it back, bro, you get me? Less of this almost thing. I'm with the queen of the WWE, the true WWE Women's Champion. There's no other WWE Champion. I'm not hearing none of that. The drippiest woman in this thing as well. Look at the Jordans. Crep check. Let's get them in. You understand? Come on. You know the vibe. <laughs> Bianca, how you feeling, man? I'm feeling good. Road to WrestleMania, we're here. So nervous, but feeling good. Is this another attire that you made as well? I know you make your ring attire. I know the thing, you know. I didn't make this one. Listen, I haven't had any time. I was going to make my Hall of Fame dress. That didn't happen. My WrestleMania gear is not even finished. I was going to say, have you got the outfit ready? No, it's not ready. Um, the gear is ready, but the entrance piece, I've started over three times. It's not looking good right now, but we're going to figure it out. Montel helping? Uh, no. <laughs> He's helping with opinions. Okay. It. Yeah. <laughs> is it the right opinion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he's very honest with me, and that's why I made, I made the first jacket. He was like, you wearing that? And I was like, yeah, let's go change it because this ain't it. <laughs> so how you feeling going into WrestleMania? I mean, you and Asuka, you had a good friendship. You went against um, Damage Control, but now it's a different kind of feeling. You have to go up against her and she's kind of changed. Like you, you nearly got the old school Tajiri. How you feeling going into this one, man? That's the thing. I'm not trying to get missed. OK, this WrestleMania. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I'm, I'm feeling good, but also just on my toes a little bit. Like you said, Asuka and I, we have tag team together and now she's come back with a whole new look, a whole new personality. I'm trying to she's she's dancing with my title. I'm like, you you could just you're just gonna play in my face yeah. like that. So she's reminding me of what this is about. You know, we're two competitors. We both want to go in there and have our big WrestleMania uh, moments and have our big WrestleMania win. Um, but I just don't have to rely on all my ESTs to take her down. She's one of the best female wrestlers in the world. She's fast, she's hard hitting. Um, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a great match, and there's no other match in WrestleMania that's like ours. And I'm excited for it. But at the end of the day, I'm trying to walk out as Raw Women's Champion, so that's the goal. And that's what's gonna happen. Bianca Belair will leave WrestleMania as the Raw Women's Champion. Is there a chance that we're gonna get unification? Everybody keeps asking that. I, I mean, I, I don't I don't make the rules, um, but I would I, I like having a Raw Women's Title, a SmackDown Women's Title. It gives more women uh, opportunities to shine. Uh, you know, I have the Raw Men's title and I can shine and I can have feuds with amazing women and showcase the amazing women on our locker, on our, on our, in our locker room. Same for SmackDown. Um, it just gives more opportunities for the women. And what's better than one woman shining at the top of the division? Two. So. But you're the true champ. Let's get that in. I'm the true champ. I am. I mean, if we collide, we collide. But right now we separate and, and, and I'm liking it. Yo. We got Rey Mysterio. Hopefully he puts Dominic in a spliff tomorrow. The kids are gonna love this one. This is for the kids. Shout out WWE every time, blood. The realest band on the block, rude boy. I'm with the most dangerous woman in WWE right now, Rhea Ripley. How you doing? I never knew you had crep game, you know, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I didn't know either. <laughs> I bought these the other day because they look cool. They and are cool. Complimenting me. Yeah, man. The, the crep game is moving. What, what do you think of this? Um, uh, I wouldn't have it for breakfast. How are you feeling about um, WrestleMania? You're in the main event. I think it's going to be a fantastic fight. You and Charlotte, two of the biggest ones out here. How are you feeling going into this? Uh, I'm nervous. I'm excited. I've got so many different emotions. Um, I'm quite happy that I've got a lot of media to distract me from my emotions, to yeah. be completely honest, because I feel like I'd be very overwhelmed and just like stressed out because it is such a big deal. Like WrestleMania is the one thing that everyone aspires to be going to, you know? So having a WrestleMania 39 match against Charlotte for the SmackDown Women's Championship, it's incredible. I'm very, very excited. Have you got any family flying over from Australia? Yes. <laughs> How long is that flight? Uh, it's a it's a pretty long one, uh, especially because I'm from Adelaide. So you have to fly to Sydney or Melbourne, and then to LA. So the flight from Sydney or Melbourne to LA is like 15 hours. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my parents are actually here right now, and my uncle. So they're going to be at WrestleMania, and I'm so excited to be able to compete in front of them. Have you got any final words for Charlotte going into this? <laughs> Charlotte is not ready for what I have coming at WrestleMania 39. She's gonna walk out a little bit lighter because I'm taking her SmackDown Women's Championship and she is going to learn, just like every single one of you listening right now, that you're gonna have to rise to the judgment day.
Including you. Yo, this is guy. Try dish wet darts. You understand? Try try saying my dad plays darts. He can't even he can't even hit the black he can't even hit the board, blood. He, he can't even hit the board, mate. You know what I mean? Look. Try dish wet darts. Yeah, so but KFC couldn't make it? I'm better than KFC, bro. You're better than KFC. Yeah. I'm the one. What, you, you making that much money, huh? Bro, it's, listen, I'm I'm the one. Oh, you okay, you be the one. I'm awesome. You okay, well, that's kind of my catchphrase, but you could be awesome for the day. How you feeling though, going into WrestleMania? You're the host. I see you disrespecting the darts. That's why I kind of was on edge. I'm really, fe I'm feeling really, really good. I wish Dave Portnoy was here so I could take him to get the best Hollywood pizza you could possibly get, but he's not, so that's quite all right. But uh, honestly, I'm super excited. The electricity is happening in Los Angeles and SoFi is going to be second to none. It's gonna be insane. 90,000 plus p fans, Saturday and Sunday, going absolutely ballistic for all the matches that we have in store for them. Have you got any surprises up your sleeve? Tons. I have tons of surprises. WWE has tons of surprises. And each night will be unique in its own creative way. And I can't wait for people to see it. Any special guests? Because obviously you're, you're a big man in the Hollywood world. We know about you. Well, any rappers coming out? I heard little Uzi Vert maybe. I have, honestly, I don't know. I really and truly don't know. We'll find everything out tomorrow once we get there in the morning and you'll start feeling the crowd trickle in, see what's happening, see what's going on. And it's live, it's in your face, you know? Someone tries to slap me, they're getting a skull crushing finale. You heard that, Jesse, we're gonna get a live action brother. Let me ask you one question though, yeah? If you could pick any wrestler, past or present, to headline WrestleMania with you, it could be dead or alive, who would it be? Oh man, headline it with me? The main event. So when I was a when I was a child, you're my era in it. Austin Rock. Let me answer. You're just gonna. No, no, no. I'm just microphone. Saying. Literally, I felt like I feel like you're me whenever I'm on. Mid yeah, you see now. And it's like boom. A bit of your own medicine. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like all right. Uh, so when I was a child growing up, my 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 favorite was Ultimate Warrior. I love the streamers, the the paint on your face. I'd run around my house. Cutting the promos were always the weirdest promos you yeah, ever yeah, think yeah. of your entire life. Load the spaceship with the rocket, you got the ultimate <laughs> war right here. It was literally like that all the time. So my mom had to go through that quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, I, I would say I'd, I'd love to, I would have loved to tag with Ultimate Warrior. But that'll never happen. But you heard it here first. Ultimate Warrior would be the one. Miz headline in WrestleMania tomorrow. Couple tricks up his sleeve. Make sure you tune in. And that's it, people, for the press jacket. You done know it was a good vibe. Oh, look, there's Rhea coming out right now. Jetski, can we pan down there? There is Rhea. She ain't gonna wanna see these, blood. You get me? She already tried to put um, Dominic in front of Ray, but big up WWE for the invite. Interviews landing with Rhea, with MVP, with uh, Bianca Belair, with that Walad Miz as well. Big up Rey Mysterio for the limited edition cinnamon toast crunch cereal the kids will love that wrestlemania will be all over it like flies on shit saturday sunday you know so a day are jet ski until then we're out